Hi, I'm Al Schmicky. Welcome to our video series about show pigs. I'm excited to talk to you about the fundamental products and, and the products that we use and as we're bringing pigs into the show barn, products that we're using as we're in the show barn and developing and finishing them, and the products that we're using as we work and get ready for show day preparation. Kind of talking about getting those pigs in the barn. Uh, we're picking them up. Uh, we're getting them traveling in. Uh, we're basically getting them things kind of gathered up. Um, and, and most of the time when we're gathering them, I always want to talk to the breeders uh, that you're getting them from, uh, see what kind of feed they've been on from a protein level, uh, fat level, lysine level, uh, to see kind of as we're transitioning them, them into the barn. And, and so we encourage the folks to to basically if they're buying them and the pigs are coming in a little bit younger these days and so we look at a lot of pigs coming in off maybe burst starter which is our our 21 and a half percent protein that's designed from a 15 to 50 pound pig uh, that we come kind of basically from our nurseries from chip barns and then we go on into like our 18 241 or maybe our other option the 10 194 and that's a 20 percent three and a half percent fat and a one two lysine that's a nice receiver feed, uh, especially if they've been on a higher protein, earlier starter feed to get started on. Uh, that settles in real nice. They'll grow and continue to grow and perform. They'll keep their skeletal growth with that. Um, if their pigs are a little further along in age and size, uh, we'd look at like 18 241s. And our 18 241s is an 18% protein, three and three quarter fat and a 105 lysine and of course medicated with BMD. And so this one here is kind of our on target feed. This is the one that's kind of the one that is kind of designed for the pigs that we kind of think are on target as we're evaluating them and bringing them pigs on in. And so uh, as we look at different genetics that we've got kind of coming in and we're bringing those pigs in, we may want to lower a little bit of protein, uh, maybe a little bit quicker because a lot of these genetics today have got quite significantly more muscle uh, in them than maybe we used to have in them pigs. And so we want to maybe slow up maybe protein uh, and, and allow muscle maybe to kind of catch up uh, or let skeleton catch up with the muscle. And so we take a look at that. But I want to encourage folks um, when they're getting those pigs in or when they get kind of completed getting their pigs all in, it's nice to get on a program, basically a deworming program. And, and we've got our what we call our show guard product. Uh, and we'll bring that product in and you'll see that the profile on that feed again is an 18%, three and three quarter fat and 105 lysine. It's very, very close to our 18 241s uh, and, we want, and we've got safeguard in this. We wanna look at this product uh, from the standpoint of feeding one pound per 100 pounds of body weight for a three day feeding period. And so we wanna make doggone sure we're getting them things dewormed uh, want to do it every 30 days. Uh, so just kind of keep in mind that one pound per hundred pounds for a three day feeding period uh, and you'll get them things dewormed. It catches the whipworms, which is usually one of the one of the big troublemakers that we may not catch on other type of other type of wormers that we've got out there and stuff. And so take a look at that one. Back to kind of getting them gathered up and getting them in. We've got them on the 18 241s. We've transitioned them over. Um, and I think it's Probably the most important thing is to thinking about as those pigs are growing and developing some of the big questions I always get uh, is maybe those pigs are getting enough muscle uh, or, or maybe getting a little harder bodied. Uh, we maybe are lose, maybe need a little condition put on them and we're, we're still not maybe up to 100 pounds yet. And so, uh, and again, like I mentioned, we maybe got enough muscle bred into some of these genetics that we may go in and start looking at looking at maybe a higher fat option like our 18007 uh, a little earlier in stages. Uh, that's an 18% protein uh, and a 7% fat and a 105 lysine. So basically we'll typically, where I coach folks, we'll typically go in and, and maybe blend the 18241s and the 18007s uh, and then make a switch on over to the 18007s. If it looks like we're still needing to continue to maintain muscle, and maybe to add a little more cover to their diet. Um, if it looks like we're wanting to just kind of let muscle kind of settle back a little bit, then I would look at using like the 16700 in blend in combination with those 18 241s. 
And so basically we're going to go with a 16% protein, a 7% fat, and a, and a 0.9 lysine. So we're going to end up, as we mix those two together through that, that shade, because the reason why we why I encourage maybe blending that feed is, is we've got certain genetics and dirt certain breeds that may react significantly faster on just a partial move. Um, and I like to do it for like a 10 days to two week period of time. And if we don't see a much change in that period, then we may go to those 16, 700s. We've got a little lower protein. We're still feeding the muscle real well at that point uh, and still allowing that skeleton to kind of get rolling along. Uh, the 14, 560 uh, is basically one that maybe we're still lacking some cover, uh, maybe still got too much muscle. And so we want to maybe look at a lower protein option. Uh, this particular product comes as a crumble. All of our others come in a pelleted form. Uh, this one comes in a crumble. Uh, it's a 14.5% protein, 6% fat. And you'll see, uh, like on our quick reference guides, it's only a 0.75 lysine. And so basically we're trying to just kind of let muscle kind of basically mellow a little bit, uh, let us allow a little cover. But it's kind of unique about this product is we still maintain still enough shape with that particular product uh, as we're still trying to mellow things just a little bit out. Uh, this does a really nice job. And so typically we're not gonna start feeding this until we get to that 100, 125 pounds. Um, and at that point, uh, I'm gonna take the moment just to kind of talk about maybe at this point, uh, if you've got access to scales, uh, and again, most time we're on a 100 day feeding period, uh, we get to about 100 pounds or 75 to 100 pounds, basically about 70 days left on feed. Um, we wanna make sure that we're starting to get them things to the scales. Uh, and measuring how they're growing. A lot of times we work, we're on the scales, getting a measure for that two pounds a day growth performance. If they're not hitting that target, um, then we wanna be looking at maybe some other things that we may be uh, getting shortchanged. Maybe we haven't got them dewormed like we need to. Uh, maybe we're not getting the water volume. Uh, maybe we're catching a little bit of a cold. Uh, maybe they're getting a little bit of a, getting to where they're feeling bad or something. And so. We need to kind of watch that portion of their of, of their life as they're kind of growing and going and and, and those kinds of things. Uh, again, that scale is really, really important. So we've moved into the to the 16s, we've worked into the 14, 5, 60s, kind of seeing what those will do for us at that particular point in time. And of course, um, if we need to manage some muscle, um, and again, maybe we're working on one that's maybe just a little bit older uh, and we're gonna manage uh, maybe some finish at that point too. Uh, we've got that 15, uh, 350. Uh, and again, that's a 15% protein, a three and a half percent fat and a 0.8 lysine. And so this is kind of our high, our low fat, uh, lower protein option. And so we're just kind of trying to maintain that finish uh, and still try to manage enough muscle and shape yet with the protein that we've got and the lysine level. And so this is kind of one of those ones, maybe just a nipple in a holding pattern but still want to feed uh, enough volume. And again, each one of the pigs are a little bit different uh, at times. That's why it's important on them scales. We kind of measure that up. And so uh, at that particular point in time, so we can do some of those things in the last couple, three weeks, or maybe we're wanting to drag on to uh, maybe another show um, after we've gotten that one particularly uh, ready for one. And we're maybe going to settle back for a little bit for another show. Um, and so we kind of see how they kind of come along at that point. Um, we have some neat options. Uh, we've got the finisher pan we've used for lots of years here, uh, the 11256. Uh, that's an 18% protein, 2.5% fat, 1% lysine. Um, that one is, is developed and designed with a 9 gram paleen level. Uh, and that one there, um, we fed that in combination uh, with some of our other feeds with the 16s or the 18s. Biggest thing we watch on that 11256, 11256, or even the paleen products that we have, um, those particular products, uh, as we're basically adding uh, more growth, quicker performance, uh, we just got to make sure that we keep our structural integrity uh, in position, that we don't lose any ground on that. And so that uh, is, is basically the thing that we watch visually as we're watching those pigs perform uh, and doing maybe the things that we want to do. We'll typically take them off the paleen type products uh, three to four days before the show. Looking for a paleen option back there when we get ready for show day type products. 
Um, this Vital Burst product is a really neat fit. Uh, again, this is 21.5% protein, 6.5 fat, and a 1,5 icing. Uh, we've had some really nice results. The other product uh, that we call Lean Max Zero, um, and this one here again is a bunch of a little more different combination of proteins in this particular product. Options there that allows us to do that type of setup uh, is we're looking at trying to bring us a little more shape, show ring ready and stuff also. And so. Uh, those are some neat products that allows us to do that. Um, as we look at show day products, probably one of the ones that we uh, that we talk about a lot. We see a lot of our trade shows or uh, or events that we may have products at. Those shows are also being involved uh, is basically our show prep. Uh, this one here uh, has had kind of the nickname of the old Lucky Charms, and it kind of looks a little bit like that. We've got a little more color in that. It comes in a five pound. Uh, package is two and a half pounds the night before or two and a half pounds the morning of. Palatability is really good on this one. Uh, this one here, again, when we designed it, kind of put it together, it's got some electrolytes in that. Uh, that one's got some yeast products and it. it's got some highly absorbable products to help uh, basically bring some muscle, some shape, some presentation, some bloom back to those pigs, uh, especially uh, in cases where maybe they have not been out and being showed or getting acclimated at times going on off the trailers and we're looking at something that can help us bring back the presentation that we're looking for uh, at the show and or at the fair uh, that'll help bring a little more of that uh, I guess that look that us judges are looking for from a presentation standpoint and so um, the, at times we will feed a little more of that depending um, you know if some shows are finishing up at noon one o'clock uh, you know we're showing into the evening type of deal we'll typically feed another two and a half pounds at noon one o'clock as we kind of look at trying to keep them hydrated and keeping that look that we're looking for that we may be getting during the start of the day uh, as we finish up and maybe later in the evening we have. Uh, these are some of our core products uh, these are some of the products that we look at uh, for we're developing and finishing and and, and making it making the moves to those transitional times as as pigs are maybe needing a little more finish or if we're needing to stay just a little bit leaner or managing maybe some skeleton at this particular point in time. Um, our quick reference guide, uh, you can go online uh, or go to your dealer and get this quick reference guide. Uh, this has really neat information on it basically that explains what those feeds do and through those different stages. Um, and so it'll help you kind of better understand um, of what those products will do with the, the proteins, lactins, and factors they've got. So we look forward to help support you with our show feed lineup. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We'd be glad to help you and help you be very successful with our show feed lineup.